guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl k simone and i'm back with another video y'all um it has been a very long journey okay i know i have not been on here for like months and y'all like have really been showing my video support i just want to say thank y'all as y'all can see i'm in a new background yes i moved i moved into a house and it's a very old house so i'm still doing some fixing up um I want to thank you to the people that actually helped me get in here and um just been blessing me lately it's it's so incredible how you know when you let go of neg negative energy and you cut off people who don't need access to you how your blessings will flow but anyways that's not the video for this i'm just really really been thankful but y'all i miss y'all i'm back i'm gonna try to be more um active i really had to take a break because like i said i had a lot going on i had a lot with my with family with friends so um yeah so back basically i'm back and i want to start you know being more consistent i want to take y'all along on more um stuff that i do on my personal life and my spare time so yeah let's get into this video <laughs> yes like i stated y'all know i love pink so a lot of my background gonna change um but yeah so like i said i just had to take a break for my mental health just for my sanity because i was going through a lot um i closed my business just to get back on you know like where i wanted to go with it um i just appreciate all the support on my actual uh youtube video um where i'm with like at 13k maybe 14k views and i just appreciate so many people that has been supporting me and loving the video and subscribing to my channel we're almost at a thousand views so i'm so happy about that um and yeah like i said i just really had to just take a mental break get my mind together get my life together it's like with so much going on i felt like i couldn't do youtube at the same time and so many of y'all had questions just about lip gloss and how to make it so with that being said i do want to let you guys know that i am working on my ebook okay i will insert the cover of my ebook right here in a few pages just to kind of show y'all what it's like um i know that i did do a detailed video on how to make your lip glosses on my actual channel or how to basically start up the business portion of it but with my ebook, it's gonna be it's gonna give more details. I'm actually gonna be giving off three three technique formulas. I'm gonna begin giving my personal vendors to my lip gloss tubes, my labels, my logos, my coloring, everything down to websites, all of that. Um, so yeah, my ebook will be twenty five dollars. It is instant download. Like I said, it's about twelve chapters, sixty five pages long. So yeah you guys should really enjoy that um i just been working on my uh ebook i just been really trying to just y'all let's just take appreciation for my skin my skin has came a very long way yes to the natural lighting but my skin has came a very long way but like i said my ebook is about it's not actually 65 pages i don't know why i even said that child my mind is everywhere today but my ebook is about 50 or 60 pages long and so um 40 or 50 pages again i keep saying 60 40 or 50 pages so that would be my ebook like i say i will give out formulas i will give out vendors i will give out just all the information that i really didn't give out in my um my already video that i already did i may have given it out but i may didn't really go into detail about it yeah but i'm gonna answer some of the questions that you guys have asked me um over the past couple months like where have you been what's been going on um are you trying to start another business what's going on so the first question i'm gonna get with kayla where have you been before we start subscribe to my channel yeah, like i say i had to take a mental break um youtube was just not in my future at, at that particular moment and as i sat back and realized that one of my videos is doing really well um, I felt like I needed to just give y'all more information on how to start your brand because I'm aware that a lot of women don't know how or a lot of women, you know, have looked up to me just based off the comments that y'all have left me and y'all have felt inspired and, 
you know, really got good information on my videos. And it was times where I didn't feel like my business was growing or it wasn't where it should have been. But just the fact that people actually do support me really did uplift me. So at the moment, I feel like I had to take that mental break that I needed in the moment to just kind of get my business back together in my life and figure out what I wanted to sell and how I was going to try to, you know, better market my brand. Okay, so next question is, are you thinking about selling more items? Um, At the moment, I am thinking about branching off and selling different things. Like I said, I'm dropping my ebook very soon. So for the girlies that want to get more into detail and learn how to, you know, actual actual formulas. I think I'm be my formulas that I use for my glosses. Um, So we're doing the whole ebook thing. And I've been I've been thinking about a lot of different things like handbags and slippers and slides and maybe you know like eyeshadow palettes. I've been thinking of, of a lot of different things that I want to bring to the brand. But as far as right now, it's just you know my lip gloss and lashes. But I'm I'm obviously taking a break from that rebranding. And y'all don't let people beat you up for rebranding. Like take as many breaks as you need to rebrand your business to your liking. Like people will really try to, oh, well you've been doing this for five or six years and it's not going how you want to go. It like y'all, if you give up the day and you win up and, and, and God had it set for you to win tomorrow, you're going to look crazy if you give up today. So never give up on what you want to do. Take as many breaks, rebrand as many times as you need to do. And don't let nobody tell you that you are not doing what you want to do, you know? Um, what's been going on with YouTube? As I stated, y'all, YouTube, I needed a personal break. Um, I just wasn't really feeling like I was going in the right direction with my channel. And it's crazy. When I took that break, that's when I started seeing that I was going in the right direction because you guys were subscribing, you guys were liking, you guys were following. Y'all was like really leaving heartfelt comments on my videos and it really made me feel like, I was doing the right thing you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm walking in my path it's taking me a little longer to get there because I'm doing everything on my own but I'm doing the best that I can you know um how old are you I don't know why y'all want to know my age I'm 25 years old okay my birthday is November 15 I am a Scorpio if you a Scorpio comment down below let me know if I have some gang members here no I'm just I'm just kidding y'all um yeah, I'm 25 years old this year. I will be 26. Um, what's been going on with your personal life? Do you have a boyfriend? Um, I don't have a boyfriend right now. I am inter interested in someone. But right now, I'm just working on getting myself together so that I can be whole and spiritual for that person that God sends me. That's all I'm going to leave. Um, what's, what is... I'm not sure why she wrote this like this. What is it the future for? You know what? I think she meant what is the future for Simone Cosmetics? Yes. So like I said, the future is to possibly brand out. I want to be a big household name. I want to be like Kylie Cosmetics and Hubby Beauty. And like, I want to be in storefronts. I want to have my own line one day, like a whole entire line. I don't want to just sell makeup. I want to branch out to clothes and shoes and hair and accessories and stuff like that. So it's a lot with Simone Cosmetics that I want to do, but baby steps, y'all, baby steps. Like you always got to take baby steps and whatever that you do. Cause if you overload yourself, it's going to be too much. Um, so yeah, um, that's all the questions I got. I think I got like two more. Um, what do you feel about fake friends? And I'm going to answer that one. And then I have another one that says, um, how to know when people truly want to support your brand. I'm going to answer that one first. So how to know when people, first of all, I'm going to tell y'all, family and friends are not going to support you. Like, that's all for real. Like, if you have friends and family that do support you, you're blessed. But if you are the ones that, that have people in your life that know about your brand, that know that you're selling certain things and don't support you, it's okay. They just don't see your vision and they don't support what you're doing at the moment. Everybody tends to hop on your brand when it's successful, when you get a little motion, when everybody started buying and ordering stuff. That's when people start to, you know, try to hop on the bandwagon and try to support you and try to you know 
you know be your oh well we're friends no like honestly you guys strangers and people who you don't know who you've never even met a day in your life are going to support you like if you go to your local grocery store and you try to sell lip gloss a random stranger is going to buy it before your cousin buy it like that's just what it is when you start to become an entrepreneur and you start to branch off and get your own businesses and, and ideas and stuff like that like you have to be okay with your immediate friends your immediate family your your boyfriend your sister your brother whoever it might be you have to be okay with people not supporting you because if you if you think about it in a way like dang man why are people not supporting me because i used to be the same way dang why are people not supporting me people not showing me no love everybody following me on instagram i get two three hundred views but i'm only getting five six orders a day like them five or six orders be thankful for them because eventually it's going to be 5,000, 6,000 orders. You're going to start getting so many orders that you're going to need to hire people. So don't be discouraged because the, your immediate people are not supporting your brand. They just don't see the vision. And then sometimes they don't see the vision and they don't feel like God should have blessed you with that blessing. And also, you know, it's okay to cut people off who you feel like don't support you. Me personally, I'm not even going to be your friend if you don't support me. Like... Because I'm always the type of friend, I'm clapping for others, I'm doing for others, I'm always happy for other people. So I want the same for me. When it's my turn, clap for me. When it's my turn, be happy for me. You know what I'm saying? Show me that you have my back like I'm going to have your back. And a lot of times people aren't doing that. A lot of times in, in this generation, in our generation, friendships and support is one-sided. So like I said, don't get discouraged if you have somebody that's not supporting you that's you may have been friends 10 plus years i've had to cut off people i've been friends with for decades because i felt like they didn't support me and every time something would go wrong they would bring up old things or, or just negative vibe and it was always well i did this for you and you did this and you you know no so like i said who cares if whoever don't support you you support you keep posting even if you get five likes ten likes one subscriber two subscribers one views ten dollars like and also don't start a business don't start youtube just because you after the money do it because you genuinely want to bring something to the forefront that you truly believe in start a brand that you truly believe in like don't just start something post one day stop 10 years from now then post again like no do it every single day and i know it's crazy coming from me because i don't support my brand every day because like i said i have allowed certain things in my life to go on to where i don't put enough time to my brand but i'm trying to get better at that so post every day no matter how many views so like literally y'all post every single day like if i drop this youtube video today i'm gonna post it every single day on my youtube shorts every single day on my tiktok every single day on my instagram like post it every single day because whether or not they like it whether or not they subscribe whether or not they interact with you or even click on your site to purchase any of your items they're still watching and if they watching they're inspired that's all i have to say on that um what is the ongoing status with with some more cosmetics Right now, y'all, we are closed because, like I said, I'm working on a new new website. I'm working on the ebook. I'm working on new formulas. Uh, I'm I'm discontinuing a lot of my glosses because I'm not really okay with the formulas. I want new packaging, new uh, lip gloss wands, and all of that. So right now, I'm just kind of in a standstill with that. And I know, like I said, you got to start somewhere you have to start somewhere but i'm the type of person i see a way bigger vision for my brain and in order to get there i have to put time and money into it to make it to what i want it to be so you know i just kind of want to close it focus on fixing the issues fixing the mistakes fixing some of the stuff that my customers don't like or some of the stuff they have said that they don't like and try to fix it you know so right now we are closed um, the next couple months, I do plan on the open, but like I said, in the next couple months, I will be taking you guys along on my journey on seeing my manufacturers, how they make my lip glosses, and just me, you know, going to different places, looking at tubes and looking at glosses. Uh, I will be taking you guys on my business journey. I will be making more business content videos because I know you guys really did enjoy the lip gloss videos, so I will be making more of those too. 
but like I say, yeah, I kind of just want to give you guys an update. Um, I'm going to answer the last question, and that's going to be all. Uh, how do I deal with fake friends? I don't deal with fake friends. Like I said, I have been cool with people for a very long time. And people show you who they truly are. Like, people will show you how they feel about you. They will show you how they don't care about you. And all like that, y'all. Excuse my background because I have people over at the moment. But, yeah. So, people will show you how they feel about you. And if they show you how they feel about you, make them spit on it. Like, stop asking for explanation. Stop really caring. I feel like, you know, if if you've been friends with somebody and God removed them out your life, let them be gone because they're gone for a reason. Like, they're not meant to go with you wherever you're going in your next chapter. And that's for family. That's for your boyfriend. That's for your girlfriend. That's for your cousin, your niece, your mama, nephew, dad, anybody that God removes out your life. Let them stay where they at because they're not meant to go with you in your next chapter. And also, I'm going to say, don't hold on to baggage. Like, if you have a friendship that's going bad and they, they carry nothing but bad energy, every time something go wrong, they bringing up negativity, they bringing up old stuff in the past, they bringing up all the times you didn't do for them, never the times you was there, never the times you did do for them, and never the times you have celebrated them and clapped for them, let them, let them go. Just go ahead, let them go, sis. Because it's not worth your time, it's not worth your headache, it's not worth, you know, anything that you have to deal with. It's just not even worth the headache. It's not worth none of that, y'all. Like, your peace this year is 2024, and I feel like your peace this year should be what's most important to you. Your peace in, in finding out who you are and trying to get your life together and figuring out what you want out of your own life should be what's more important to you this year. So... I answered all your questions, you guys. I gave y'all a little bit of feet, a little bit of information about where I've been. Like I told y'all, I'm working on my ebook. Um, I will have more details in my next three videos about my ebooks. Um, I will only put a few out at a time. I like I said, it will be twenty twenty five dollars. I'm probably still gonna tweak the price a little bit because I'm really not sure. But yeah, so I'm having I have an ebook dropping um on how to start your lip gloss business and then I have another ebook after that that I'm currently working on as well. I haven't really got all the details about that situated yet, but like I said, once I know more, I will let you guys know more. And yeah, so I hope I cover all you guys' answers, all your questions, all of you guys like where you at, where you at, what's going on, where you been, we met you. Da -da -da -da. I hope I covered everything for y'all and until next time, I love you guys. Bye.